maintain shifting and like holding your drink from well, spilling. I mean, see, that's the thing about this car is there's no cup holders, and none of his cars have cup holders. And I'm okay with that because I like uh, race cars. Let me hold it because yeah, I don't want it to spill. This energy drink, and last time he bought this. Oh, what happened did? last time? Oh yeah, we did, it. huh? Oh, I, I spilled uh, it. In case you guys don't know, Sergio spilled this exact energy drink. Oh my god, on his um, on his MacBook and ruined the whole thing. So he had to get a new one, and because um, of everything that's going on, they had to order one. So he, when are you gonna pick it up? Oh, they're saying in like that, a couple weeks. Well, I think they said the 25th, but that was like last Sunday. Was yeah. it last Sunday? It's been I a week already. I think they've extended it. Either this week or next week, but still. I don't know why he keeps buying them. I don't know. I think it's more of a... I'm still mad at that. Well, and you can't be mad at the drink. I mean, it, it was it's my fault. It's not the drink's fault. But it's not the drink's fault. But it's... Still. I always tell him that he's clumsy. I don't think he... He agreed until this happened. Now he agrees. He's clumsy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't agree with that, but okay. Where are we headed today? Where, yeah. Well, this whole coronavirus thing is cracking down right now. Gas is cheap, for sure, which I really appreciate. Uh, we're gonna go to Holly Weird. Yay. And just go cruise it. Yeah, I mean, what, what can we, we can't really do much. Everything's closed. I, you know, I, I enjoy driving my cars. So today we're taking the, the Skyline GTR for the first time to LA. Yay, I'm excited. This is a really nice day here. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> it's funny because like, I know when we post this video, like of us like out and about in uh, like LA or Hollywood area, we know we're gonna get a lot of crap from people like on our comments and stuff. They're gonna be like just telling us like, oh, you guys shouldn't be out, you know, yada yada yada, coronavirus and this and that. Well, let me let me tell you one thing. I'm not gonna be at home. I'm not a homebody. I never have been. I never will be. So like, I, I like being outdoors. You know. And it's I think like, it's okay if we're not going into like with other people. We're just going outside. We're staying in our car. We're gonna look at nature, walk around. I think that's safe, and exactly. nobody, nobody's gonna be affected by that. So, okay. yeah. Tell that to Rain Man. It, you gotta be super smart to count cards, buddy. Okay. Oh really? It's not easy. Okay. Well, maybe we should tell that to Rain Man because he practically bankrupted a casino and he was a retard. What? <laughs> he basically uh, bankrupt the casino and he was a retard. And there's no traffic on the freeway. Either way, either direction I think is pretty cool. We got some snacks, so hopefully we'll find like a cool place to park and like look out, maybe watch the sunset or something. Because I think it's supposed to rain like the next few days, so take advantage of the last nice day outside. Joe will talk to anybody. update. Guess who we just met? Harry freaking Styles. Harry Styles. The guy from like, One Direction. I was like, babe, they know who he is. I, okay, I my bad. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even know who the guy was. <laughs> I just thought his car was cool. He had an SL280 1967 nice Mercedes. Car. And I was appreciating, I was like, these things remind me of like the S500. So I thought it was pretty cool and I was complimenting the guy. And then, uh, but I, and then I switched it over. I was like, how do you like living in LA? And he's like, oh no, I live in London. I was like, damn, this I guy's British. Away. I gave so, it away. So at first, well, he was just talking. Sergio talks to everybody and anybody. And yes, I so do. we first pull up and he's reading his book. He's reading a book in his car, quietly minding his own business, minding his own business. And Sergio starts out talking to him about his car. And um, I was like, dang, that guy looks familiar. But I, I couldn't put a, like, I couldn't say 100% that it was him. And I was like, no, I don't want to bring it up and then be like, no, that's not really him. So I'm just.
just gonna insert the clip of him in his car. So what I started to do was I googled him and I googled his tattoos because he was wearing like a short sleeve shirt and he has a bunch of tattoos on his arms but the one that stood out was on his left hand there's like a little cross and um, I saw it and I'm like oh my god it's confirmed that's him and then I got even more nervous and I was like no I, I don't want to like approach him because he obviously wants like alone quiet time. But then um, Sergio started dr his his drone, and it's a little noisy with the with the propellers. And I think he got kind of annoyed, and he left. Yeah, he left, and I was like, <laughs> he started his car right away. Like, <laughs> no, he just started right away. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, he actually was smile, like he was smiling at yeah, us. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. Yeah, he was smiling at us, and like, and and I think you told him like, oh, I'm sorry, and he was like, no, that's okay. Yeah, because. He was looking at the drone and I'm, I was like, oh, he's probably irritated, but I was like, I'm sorry. And he's like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. But yeah. But uh, like other than that, like uh, when he was leaving, I was like, take it easy, Harry. I like your music. Yeah. And he's like, he's all, take it easy, mate. And he just drove off into the sunset. Confirmed. Confirmed Finally met a celebrity. And it was, the crazy part too is it was like, we pulled up next to him the very first stop that we did. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Now that I think about it, I don't I don't think he was like bothered by the I don't think he was bothered by the freaking drone. Now that I think about it, you were kind of staring at him a lot. So he probably got freaked out thinking like, oh my gosh, he's like violating me by staring me down. But I mean, you guys be the judge. I mean I mean I was I was staring at him but like just because I was like, is that really him? But I know I was staring, but I don't think I'm I hope I didn't make him feel awkward. I, I think you freaked him out. I'm gonna send him a message like, hey bro, sorry. <laughs> let's, I'm sorry. Let's DM but him. Be like, I'm gonna hey. DM him like, hey bro, I'm sorry about the situation. Sorry I was just appreciating again. your car. <laughs> I thought your car was cool, you know what I mean? So, I mean, if you're watching this right now, Harry, yeah. you have a nice car, man. If you ever wanna do a photo shoot, let me know. Imagine he somehow mysteriously no, watches this we video. We don't even have that many subscribers on YouTube, for God's sake. Everybody that does watch this, send it to him. Yeah, just send it to him. Help yeah. us out a little bit, you know. Get us some subscribers, you know. Hi, like, Harry. <laughs> I, you know, I, but hey, you know, we, again, he was a nice guy, very yeah. cool. Uh, you know what I mean? We we're talking about. He actually, the, this is the crazy part. He actually knew about his car because I was. It's an SL280 uh, Mercedes, 1967, so it's an older vehicle. And uh, I was asking him, I was like, "Is it a four-speed?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's a four-speed." And I was like, "What engine do you have?" And he's like, "I don't know the engine, but I know it's a four-cylinder." Because I was like, "Oh, so it's a carbureted engine?" He's like, "Yeah, it is." And now, yeah, you know, he, again, he knew a little bit about his car. I could tell that was probably one of his, you know, prized possessions. You know what I mean? Because it was really nice. And it had the license plates, uh, the frame. And it said Beverly Hills Mercedes. So I'm assuming he probably, nice. it was probably sitting at that dealership. He saw it and he bought it. Because it's in very beautiful condition. He said he's had condition. it for six years. Huh? He said he had it. He's had it for six years. Oh, yeah. He, he did say he had it for like six years. So I'm pretty sure like that's his car to get around here in uh, California. He just looked like another L.A. guy. Yeah. So I was just like, I was like, because uh, when he told me he was lives in London, I was like, I was like, oh, shit, you can't go back, huh? He's like, I don't know. He's all probably, he's all probably like in another month, I'll be able to go back. So. Tacos and Skylines. So you're gonna order in uh, 
Spanish, right? I'll try. No, no, you gotta order in Spanish. Okay. okay, yeah. But you gotta try, like, you know, at least try. I'll try. Don't be afraid to try. I'm just... I'm just shy. What are you shy of? They're not gonna hurt you. They're just, like, nice people and they're gonna say... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna say something wrong. Nah, you know what? They will probably just, like, smile at you and then they'll, like... They'll under no, they won't laugh. They'll understand. You know, they know how it is. All right. You can have any beer as long as it's a Corona. People are social distancing. I'm social drinking. <laughs> Tan tan tan. Go. Hola, ¿cómo está? I'll probably take six carne asada tacos. Yes, yeah, that's perfect. Good job, I'm proud of you. Okay. Three days later. I think that's it for this.